Hey guys, welcome to a quick little video again with a quick video. Oh, there's a cute little bird. I said in the previous vlog I was going to do a product review. I did get the product on Monday. Today is Wednesday, I think. Yeah. So I got the product on on uh, Monday and there were some technical problems with the product but the manufacturer has sent me a new one so it should be here tomorrow. So as you can see I'm not going to be able to upload the review video this week but uh, hopefully the video is going to be uploaded on Monday or possibly Tuesday. It's a gimbal from uh, DJI. It's called DJI Osmo Mobile 3. So it came out a few weeks ago. It's the latest mobile gimbal from DJI. But it did have some uh, bugs in the firmware. Well, I'm guessing it's firmware bugs. But when I get the new gimbal uh, tomorrow, I'm going to send the old one back to them so they can figure out what's wrong with it. Anyway, iPhones. Let's talk about iPhones. I'm not a Apple sheep. Many people probably think I'm an Apple sheep. I'm not. I've had... I think I've had more Android phones than uh, iPhones. I've also had quite a few mo uh, Windows mobile phones. Pocket PCs. But my first smart phone with a touchscreen was a QTech S1. It had uh, Windows mobile on it and it had a tiny little stylus. I actually had that phone. I bought it new. And I had that phone for... I don't know many many years and uh, I cracked the screen on the phone and I had the phone laying around for many many years the screen worked but the touch screen uh, the touch uh, feature on the screen didn't work but uh, it turned on and everything so three years ago I think it was I found a cheap uh, replacement screen on Amazon or eBay whatever it was so I ordered that, I think it was $10, $15. So I tried to do my first ever screen replacement, which didn't turn out very well. I was being a little bit too rough with the uh, new screen and it cracked inside the phone. So yeah. So I basically just uh, threw the phone away. It was still working, but uh, yeah. Anyway, enough of that. iPhones. Since the iPhone 7 Plus came out, uh, I've had only iPhones. And I've always bought the latest and the greatest of the iPhones. Not the biggest capacity. I've always run with the mid-tier. Like uh, the one I have now, the XS Max, it's got 256 gigabytes. And I'm only using, I think I'm using less than 50 gigabytes of it. So when I watched the uh, the Apple Keynote, when they introduced the new iPhone 11 Pro and 11 Pro Max, I was completely determined to, to, uh, to buy the new 11 Pro Max. And no, I don't have a lot of money, but uh, I have an installment uh, from my network provider. So I only pay a few bucks every month. So I can get the latest iPhone every year. So that's basically what, uh, how I've been doing it. So I was thinking for days about the new 11 Pro Max. It's got a three camera and all that stuff. And I was watching a lot of uh, uh, comparison videos on YouTube. Where they compared the budget iPhone 11 with the Pro models. Basically, the main difference is the screen. It's got an the iPhone 11. It's got a LCD screen instead of an AMOLED screen. It's got the same amount of RAM, four gigabytes. It's got the same cameras apart from the telephoto camera. It's got the same CPU, so it's just as powerful as the most expensive one. And I noticed that the iPhone 11 is the only iPhone from the 11 series that comes with 128 gigabytes of storage and 128 gigabytes of storage would actually be perfect for me because now i'm using less than 50 gigabytes on my tennis max and 
I use the phone a lot. I take a lot of pictures and a lot of videos. Actually, this video here is recorded on the iPhone. I'm just walking around the kitchen like an idiot. It's pouring down. Again, it's Bergen. Yoo-hoo. So I started watching more and more videos where they talked more about the details in and the nuances and the differences comparing the 11 with the 11 Pro and the iPhone 11 128 gigabytes is actually 200 kroners cheaper per month than the uh, Tennis Max I have right now and it's more powerful and it's got a lot better camera it's got all the same apart from the uh, tele zoom photo lens tele photo lens Apart from that, the iPhone 11 has pretty much all the same features that I am interested in that the uh, 11 Pro has. It's got the LCD screen which isn't as good, but from what I've seen it's got the same Dolby Atmos speakers. It doesn't come with a quick charge uh, brick, but uh, I got a quick charge from my iPad anyway, so that doesn't really matter to me. And I saw the uh, the iPhone 11 in red. I've never had a red phone before. I've always tried to get black phones. I've always liked black phones. The one I have now, the Tennis Max, it's white. Yes, they call it silver. The only thing silver about it is the stainless steel uh, uh, frame around the phone. But um, the back of the phone is white, so... It's a white phone, yeah. So I figured it would be kind of cool to try something else. And to be honest, 99.9% .9 of all the, the people that have smartphones, one of the first things they do is put a case on it. If I do uh, find out I don't like the red color, right now I think it looks cool, but in a few days or in a few weeks, if I think that the red color doesn't look as cool, put a case on it. So yeah, so I uh, did actually order the iPhone 11 red 128 gigabytes storage. I've been reading a lot of uh, English and Norwegian uh, tech websites, a lot of articles and uh, all of them are saying well, complaining that uh, the new iPhones they're not in stock because Apple is sending all the iPhones they're making to tech YouTubers or tech reviewers to review the phones and uh, they can't uh, manufacture them quickly enough. Anyway, I went, it, went into my uh, network provider, well in the app, ordered the iPhone or I'll, I sent in an order to reserve on uh, iPhone 11 red. Two minutes later I got a message on my phone with a link where I could order the iPhone. It's uh, There's one in stock, so yeah. So hopefully in uh, a week or two, well this is Norway so maybe three or four, I should have the new iPhone. So the first thing I'm going to do is uh, do a quick camera comparison because I do have to send this phone back. I'm on a two uh, two year plan, so uh, uh, it doesn't cost anything more to have the uh, the thing that I'm having uh, with my service provider. Because after two years, I've paid the same amount that the phone costs if you buy it uh, at Apple Store. But if you keep the same phone. And keep paying it for two years then you own the phone then you can sell the phone and do whatever you want with it but after one year you can uh, uh, swap the phone replace the phone with a new model and uh, i was kind of smart when i did the first swap so it coincides with the it's a one week after the apple event well two weeks up after the apple event so yeah so hopefully i should have the phone in a few weeks and uh, I'm going to do a quick camera compare before I have to pack this phone down and um, return it to my uh, network provider. So I'm going to do some outside tests, hopefully it's not going to rain like crazy. They're both waterproof so or water resistant. 
And of course I'm going to do some low light picture comparisons. That's going to be fun. That's one of the things I'm really looking forward to because uh, that's ba basically the main reason why I am filming myself in the kitchen. The light isn't on uh, in the ceiling, but there's usually enough light coming in from the big windows here that uh, the videos usually look pretty good. So yeah, that's uh, just a quick little video today. Thanks for watching. Remember to like and subscribe and uh, comment down below. Bye.